so I'm going to be mixing the Chanel Ultra Le Tint Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. I'm gonna mix both of these colors because I'm a little bit tan and then this one is lighter and they don't have like a wide range of shades so I have to kind of like make like a little cocktail to match my skin color. And I'm just gonna apply this here. So one is like lighter, the other one's a little bit more tan. Okay, so I already blended all of my foundation. And I'm going to be using the Neutrogena concealer with the Tarte Shape Tape. One has more of like a warm tone and the other one has more of like a cool undertone. And I like to mix it so that way it can balance my darkness here. And I only put a little bit. And I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit just because I feel like when you let concealer sit for a little bit, it's easier to blend and it looks like it's more full coverage. I'm gonna set my oily face with this RCMA No Color Powder. Let me set right here. This is one of my favorite, favorite setting powders because I just don't crease throughout the day and if I add more of it throughout the day, it doesn't look bad. You know how some like powders, when you add it throughout the day, it just looks like it's breaking apart your foundation. I just put a little bit. And for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Great Lash Maybelline New York. I am too lazy to use eyeshadow and conceal it, so I'm just gonna go upward and do some strokes like these to give me like that natural look. It still looks like I did something, but I really, I didn't really do much. The Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is Sunset Bronzer. Oh shit. I apply this on the areas that I want chiseled. I'm using the same bronzer on my nose just to make it look a little bit more defined. And for this part, you just have to blend it out so much or it's going to look like a harsh line. I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer right here just to define it a little bit more. For blush, I'm going to be using Chanel, the shade Rose Bronze. It's like a, like a pink mauve color. And I like smiling super big, so that way I can apply it exactly like on the apple of my cheeks. So for my lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Peekaboo Neutral for lip liner. And for gloss on top, I'm going to be using the Mary Rose Le Rouge Duo. From Chanel. She's getting bougie.
I am going to be using the Unlashed Wonder Beauty Volume and Curl Mascara and the Tweez Man Eyelash Curler. When my eyelashes are really short, I always decide if I'm going to wear full lashes or not. Like after I see how I look. And for highlight, I'm going to be using the Ivory Gold Chanel Highlighter. I thought it wasn't going to be as pigmented, but it's actually pretty pigmented and it's super, super, super pretty. It has like some loose glitter, so it looks like my cover effects drops, except in a powder form. So these are the Posh lashes. Uh, my friend just launched a lash line, and they're so fucking pretty. Um, it's called. Level Beauty by Martini. And they're super flirty, super feminine, super dramatic. So if you want like that, you know, you're gonna get that. All right, so for the grand thumbnail, I'm just gonna spray the Glow Mist by Pixie. Just to set my makeup. Alrighty, so this is the final look. Super easy, super simple, but also 